Kenneth Walker is filing a lawsuit against LMPD claiming false arrest. Walker was Breonna Taylor's boyfriend at the time of her death. Shay McAllister was at that news conference earlier and joins us now live with those details. Shay. Hey, Kristen, so here's the big takeaways from that lawsuit and the news conference we were just listening in on. The first thing is Kenneth Walker and his attorneys are asking for immunity for many future charges relating to the shooting that happened on March 13th. They are also asking for some sort of relief in connection to all of the trauma he has suffered. They said it's been six months of mental pain, emotional pain, and physical pain for Kenneth Walker after losing the love of his life and then going through what they called humiliation over the last six months. Some of the big points that are laid out in this lawsuit and then that they hit on again here at the press conference is what they called bad police work leading up to the execution of the warrant. They said officers should have known that Kenneth Walker was in the home that night. They also talked about the timeline in the case and how investigators have been trying to figure out what happened inside the apartment for the last five months, but it only took them three hours to charge Kenneth Walker. Those charges, of course, were later dropped, but attorneys say that's not enough. They want the officers who charged him to face consequences for that. As for Walker, he has stayed mostly quiet in the case. Now he says he will no longer be silenced. Brianna and I did not know who was banging on the door, but the police know what they did. The charges brought against me were meant to silence me and cover up Brianna's murder. For her and those that I love, I can no longer remain silent. The FBI and the Attorney General's office are both investigating exactly what happened on that night. Neither one have yet released the findings of those investigations. In this lawsuit, almost 20 different people are named, including Mayor Greg Fisher, the former police chief Steve Conrad, the Commonwealth attorney, the county attorney, and 15 members of LMPD. Live in downtown Louisville, I'm Shay McAllister.